Hello folks, uh, today we're going to look at painting this, which is a plasma gunner from the Death Corps of Krieg Imperial Veteran Guardsmen Group. Um, so I like to mount the individual models on top of, we've been using wine corks, so just a little bit of blue tack underneath, stick it on top, it gives you like a nice base for kind of manipulating the model and being able to hang on to it uh, and not having to wait until the paint dries. But I'm going to start with uh, what is probably the predominant color of the model, which is a yellow. Uh, I'm going to be using this contrast yellow, same one that we used on the barricades. You'll see that I'm not underpainting this one. Anything beyond the, the white primer that we've used. So white primer goes on and then the yellow is going to go on. So we kind of like a dirty not mustardy yellow, but lived in yellow, which I think works super well for the uh, for the jacket and the leggings. So again, this is a contrast paint, kind of layered on pretty thick. You're gonna see it's gonna draw out the details of the jacket. It'll give you a lot of the kind of contours and the folds will really pop out, give it nice depth. And I'm also putting it on the, they're not leggings, they are hoodies. That's right, leg wraps, basically World War One style leg wraps. Gotta keep the mud and the rats out of your boots, you know? Uh, so you'll see here that I'm starting to put on all that contrast. Trying to get it into the nooks and crannies of the model. Um, and I'm being pretty generous with it because the other colors that I'm gonna put on, the blacks, the silvers, uh, they're not gonna have any problem like laying on top of the yellow so it can be a little bit a little bit generous with the yellow So now I'm switching to the black Starting with the parts next to the yellow that I painted first so that way that layer is already dry And he's gonna have basically black boots uh, black trousers and then I'm also giving him black gloves and all kind of the, the straps on his uniform so the belt his backpack. I'm kind of envisioning that as all black leather. Um, so I'm starting to do his backpack now as well. And I'm trying to be real delicate because next to some of these dark colored pieces are things like his bedroll on top and then also his uh, I don't know, sustainment pouch on the bottom, which I'm going to leave white. So, um, and then his helmet, make that a nice, nice black. Uh, I am using the contrast paint here. This is something I've gone back and forth a little bit. I'm using it on his straps. Uh, but the problem is, is that they're super fiddly little strips. And so trying to keep the pretty watery contrast paint kind of in line with the, with the straps doesn't work super well. Later in the video, I'm going to transition to a, a thicker black. But now I'm picking up this gray. It's kind of a dark gray, lead belcher gray, and I'm gonna use it for a lot of the worn metal on his uniform. So starting with, he kind of has a Darth Vader style metal, metal box on his chest. He's got a rebreather uh, or gas mask on his face. Uh, and I'll also end up using it for the plasma gun and his bayonet. But it's kind of like a nice dull, dull, dull gray. Um, and then I'm going to, as I said before, transition to, this is a non-contrast black. So it's like a thicker, thicker paint. And with a really tiny brush, trying to use it to get the straps that are on his shoulders, kind of underneath his shoulder, shoulder pads and, uh, and behind the rifle. So I'm trying to use something a little bit thicker to have more control over the paint to keep it in line. Now going back to the, back to the silver, I'm going to start on the the rifle. I'm going to paint most of the rifle silver where I want it to be nice, reflective, you know, really stand out. This this silver gray is is dark but still fairly reflective, and so I'm going to dull it down uh, later in the video using something called a wash on top of it. But I'm going to do most of the rifle in this this silver, and uh, and then I'm going to do the top of the rifle actually in white. Um, to give a nice base paint, uh, how to frame here a little bit, but I'm basically just touching it up most of the rifle with this, this dark silver. And I'm doing his bayonet right now, get that nice and shiny. 
This is a base paint yellow. So it's different than the contrast yellow. That's a lot, a lot thicker, a lot more pigmented. I'm using it on his shoulder pads to have them pop out a bit and have them be kind of like uniform color. And I also use it to touch up some of the edges of the yellow or some of the black paint on top of it. So I'm taking the white. Uh, I'm using this white to clean up both any of the black that spilled out onto the white bedroll in his pack. And also I'm putting white on the top of the plasma rifle because I want it to be a nice bright undertone when I put his cool green glow on. This is a really bright silver I'm using. In contrast to the, to the dull kind of gray silver for most of his equipment, I'm using this for just a couple fine details. So he's got a couple eagles, one on his helmet, one on his pack. He's got a skull on his pack as well. So I'm using that to really pop. Now this is a super cool, it's almost like a contrast paint as well. It's called a technical paint. Uh, it is incredibly bright, day glow, glow in the dark green. And I use it from using it for the plasma, but also for, uh, you'll see I use it for his eyes. This is a wash. So it's a super light, um, just uh, goes on top of the other paint and makes them look nice and dirty. So like his bedroll, which was white before, made it, made it real gross looking. I'm adding on a quick stripe onto his shoulder pad. I really wanted to do hazard, like hazard stripes, black and white, or black and yellow alternating stripes, but so hard to paint at this scale. In fact, I'm still learning. So I settled on one single line down the shoulder pad. And later I'm gonna to try to do a, a, a transfer, put a sticker onto his other shoulder pad with a cool skull. And I'm still trying to figure that out. Right now I'm adding on some texture paint to the base. So this is a cool gritty paint that really makes the base look like when it dries, kind of look like asphalt. So this is what the final thing looks like. Uh, well, it matches the, the color scheme I've got going on, kind of the black and yellow. I love the green in the plasma rifle and reflected in, in his eyes. And I think that this, you know, the bright silver pops just a couple, the skull on the rifle, the um, wings on his helmet contrasts with kind of the dirtiness of the rest of him. Thanks for watching.